What's up, everybody? Thank you for rocking with my art channel. I greatly appreciate it. So, for about two weeks now, I've had and have not opened my new airbrush machine, which <laughs> I, for a long time, battled with myself on whether or not I was going to purchase this at all. Plenty of times you wish you had an airbrush machine because it makes things a bit faster and the look is more smoother. But the enjoyment sometimes of painting is, is a whole other ball game. But there are some projects where you wish you just had this just a faster way to do things or a smoother looking thing. Let's uh let's finally open this thing up. I have this, I have the vent, which we're gonna open up, and then I have the cleaning pot. So we'll open that up too. Alright, let's let's get to it. So first things first, when you open the box, you see it has some good protection for it being shipped. Uh, this is this is pretty cool. It makes you feel a bit more comfortable that uh, everything's gonna come in in good shape and and not be broken. Let's see, we just opened it, <laughs> but uh, this is a nice thick piece of foam. Comes with the instructions, instruction manual. Start there. This is a holder for your. I guess this goes on a. Uh, on a compressor somewhere and it'll hold your uh, airbrush guns in between you doing things if you're switching uh, paint and you got to look for your paint or whatever it is you can put it there and uh, it'll hold two airbrush guns and this plastic it's the first airbrush gun yes in the set there is two this is a vivo home professional airbrush paint system kit this is the second one The difference, I, I believe, is just that one has bigger cup than um, to hold the paint than the other. This one has a fairly small cup. This one has a larger cup. We have the holes. And then we have a third airbrush gun. Clearly these bottles are bigger and it'll hold from the bottom. I can see that being a huge difference, maybe for, for larger jobs. We get the actual compressor, which has a nice little weight to it. The whole box in general is a little heavy, but this has a nice weight to it. You can turn on a compressor or anything motorized, it'll vibrate away, I'm pretty sure that uh, this feels like it's, it's not gonna do uh, too much moving. I believe this is the moisture trap. This is a handle up here. Makes things easier, nice grip. I got a nice rubber to it. You know, you can grab that, move it around. The look of it, you put your hose up to here. Have your gauge on the top. on off switch we'll put that to the side and separately I purchased the airbrush cleaning pot AB777 cleaning pot so immediately once, the, once you open you see the cleaning brushes Then there's two filters and the airbrush gun holders. Holder, to hold one. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but if it came with it, that means it's necessary, right? It's a nice glass pot. Has a plastic top. Comes already with a filter. It looks like the filter's already in place right here. It's pretty cool. So you'll have three. 
uh, that I know of. I have to open that plastic to see if there's more, but I believe there's two in there. Two in that plastic. And uh, one right here. And the pot is cool. It's, it's, it's kind of like weight. It has enough weight that it's not going to... It don't feel like it, it, you can just knock it around your, your table so easily. Uh, you know, it's not just any little movement, but it's not so heavy either. So, you know, I would still be careful where I place this thing on my table. Okay, so there's two holes in the bottom. As you can see here, two. Two of these, so I guess it isn't rocket science. You just, <laughs> you just have to fit it in there. Just gotta squeeze the metal a little bit. Boom, it's in. So this piece is supposed to fit here. Yeah, it does. So you will open this to change the filter. I guess this is another tool to help clean your airbrush or your airbrush gun. And these are the brushes, so you know, just a cleaning system. So this goes like this. Do it pretty tight. And you can just lift it and you know. I guess as you tighten it, it'll uh, feel better in your hand, a bit more comfortable. Alright, so now we'll go straight to the vent. This is a Master Airbrush Portable Hobby Airbrush Spray Booth Kit with extension holes. So, here go the instructions. Bag here is the hose. This plastic piece here could then go on, out your window and uh, the holes will attach to the back part. There go different fittings. So now that we got the holes and everything out the way, time for the actual unit. Nicely packed. It's nice and compact. Uh, here is just showing you how it flips open. The on off switch you would have here where you would plug the cable in. There's your vent, your, your fan that's gonna take everything out. So you open the top lid, the bottom will fold out. And it just clicks in on the side here. Also comes with the rotating plate. And it has the filter. Now there's an additional piece, two pieces that come out. I'm gonna make sure these snap into place. There you have the spray booth. Here, yeah, this little box is going to have the plug. As you guys see, it goes plugged right here. There's that little door on the side. I guess if, when you want to still store the plug, you can just store it right there. You have the tube. Extend to the length that you need it. Bend it how you need to if you need to bend it up. You have your piece that goes out towards the window. You have another rubber piece that's meant to, I guess, connect this. Uh, Connect this to this. I believe this part goes connected to the back of the fan. So it says to unscrew uh, this part right here off of the back piece. 
and then attach the screws to this right here. The problem is that's impossible because these have teeth on it for it to lock on something. But if you take this um, cage out and then you spin it around and realize that's what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to lock onto this, not the screws. So what will be the point of taking the screws out? Don't make any sense. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to screw this back in and take the, I'm going to screw the, the grill back in, the fan grill, put it back and then just lock this on. All right, so we put the grill back on. It's over. Turn it. You'll feel it a little bit. Don't push too hard and end up breaking it. But there you go. And then, again, just to take it off, you want to store it. Turn it the opposite way. comes right off. Next thing you need is the extension holes. So that's how that goes. Then, as I said, you can just expand it however you need it. Then, you need this plastic ring to go over it. With the screwdriver here, you, uh, you loosen this or tighten it to your liking. Add this piece on and screw it on. However that goes, and it goes out the window or out your door or however you choose to put it. You guys seen everything. You've seen the, the airbrush, you've seen the vent machine, everything. So, you know, hopefully uh, this video is useful to somebody. If not, let it be inspiring. And, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Let's see what we have uh, coming up with this airbrush machine. And hopefully it'll just be inspiration to be more creative. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. Comment. Let me know what you think. If you own one, let us know if there's any tips or tricks we should know. Thank you.